Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed, but the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert whom Conroy has raised like a son. Mm. Well, not like his own son, of course. It reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace <gasps> because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. Myself, so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the Basilian oh, turns uh, the stone, uh, it's your own uh, fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. No! No! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh, hey, oh. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty.
not terrine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. So that's Conroy's garbage dump. What do we have here? An old vase, a spindle, the right hand of a guy from the city, a scarf that I got him for his birthday. Hmm, that must have ended up here by accident. I don't want any of those things. My own windsock. Windsocks are awesome. That could be fun. Won't help, though. Well, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. I can't do that. That won't work. No, it has to turn. That's too high for me. It's too high. I won't get the fish that way. looking for do you need garbage what do you sell here well I don't want to brag but I have the best garbage in Asposha you sell stinking garbage ah, I see you're an expert since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Aspororo, it's yours. What's that? This? An exquisite sandwich. It has only been eaten twice before. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again? Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? You can have it for a few aspiriti. Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? 
Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. Or Robert. The possibilities are endless. No thanks. I have a headache now. Aspo Ra Ro Re? Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's health is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I think I've had enough of the garbage for now. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But who would... I only see one potential suspect. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. I can't do that. What am I supposed to do with that garbage? Come here, the party's over. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. I shoot at first. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. Good idea. Oh, that didn't work out. That won't work. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. the fish didn't hurt itself falling.
can't reach it. That won't work. I don't think that will work. Now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed. Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, gold hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry for that. Thank you for the feed. Why should I do that? I can't do that. Why should I do that? Hey, the bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... I'll have a great net. No, now is no time to fool around. You can't escape. Hey! <coughs> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint. You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Huh. It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, and raping the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. If it's just lying here... It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. No, now it... I can't do that.
Voluntarily. Actually, I'm just looking for someone. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. seen a girl passing by with a pigeon. Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Brazilians. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold, or the hunger, or the despair. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you. You're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from strawberry yarn, for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. Oh, yes, of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from straw beer yarn. Well, then. Goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. 
Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Is that your false false? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the Phosphos there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Free. Oh. Oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire! Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Asposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be yes! What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillion's put into the chest? Their eyes. Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course, but, but I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! Can I have a look at the treasure map? No! I want to find the Bazillion's eyes! So, you're looking for the Bazillion's eye? Yes! If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Asposia's enemies into rock! Who are Asposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Better not. I might knock him over. Just remember, the scholars still call it Domino Day. I'd better take it before someone steals it. reporting for duty. Oh, it's just me, Robert. I wanted to ask you something. I hope it's important, because I'm about to have breakfast. Does Conroy know... Conroy? Where? 
Is he here? He's not here, is he? Uh, no. No, he's not here. But I have a question. I'm not officially authorized to receive questions. Does that mean I'm not even allowed to ask you any questions? But if I just ask you something and you react to it, like a few moments ago, then I've asked you something, although I'm not allowed to. And that's another question again. Hmm. That's maybe your opinion. You have a great view here. Yes, thank you. If the weather is nice, I could even see Upper Esposia. Sometimes I think to myself, what if there is a guard standing there as well, thinking that his side is up and my side is down, even though it's actually the other way around? You've probably thought about this for a long time. No, it just now crossed my mind. What are you doing here? I'm on guard. I see. What are you guarding? What am I guarding? What a question. Of course I'm guarding uh, this small house here. And uh, uh, the prisoners down there. And uh, the fountain, of course. I'm a fountain guard as well. What are you protecting the fountain from? It's a personal order from Conroy. I have to guard the fountain. Yes, you just said that. Um, protected from what? <laughs> I guard the fountain. By the way, falling into the fountain is prohibited. Uh, has anyone fallen into it before? I can't imagine that. Aren't you afraid that the Brazilians will turn you into stone? Why would they turn me into stone? Well, you're standing directly next to the fountain. You're probably going to be their first victim. Hmm. Actually, I've only been here since yesterday. Thanks for the advice. What kind of machine is that over there? Don't you know? That's the Cinomat. You don't seem to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. What does a sin o -mart do? Nothing. You have to confess all your sins to it. What did I do? Probably something. Nobody can walk around without making the Basilians furious. What are you going to do if the Basilians attack you? Oh, I'm not worried about that. I've read all of Conroy's instructions. I also know a good trick that my predecessor taught me. What kind of trick? If a bazillion comes, I'll close my eyes. That's clever. Did Conroy give you the order to... Conroy? Where? So, you're Conroy's official guard? Yes. Trained to protect Asphosia's inhabitants. How? Oh. I send them to prison so the Basilians can't get to them. What exactly is the Sinomat's needle for? It shows the weight of your sin. Talking to a guard during his shift, for example, is a pretty serious violation. Really? Yes. If someone falls into the fountain just now, it would be your fault. So you're sitting here all day long? No. Sometimes I'm also standing over there. What do you do if the Basilians come out of the fountain? Then I officially acknowledge it. And then? Then what? Have a good day. I will. May the Bazillions be with you. Thank you. And with you as well.
He who works without a moan. <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. No, he'll know that I tricked him. Without a moan. Uh -oh. Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. <laughs> 